All right, today I'm gonna show you guys the only way to grow stubborn calves. And I'm speaking from experience because this is truly the only thing that's worked for me. And that's because your calves are an extremely stubborn muscle group and you cannot train them like you do every single other muscle group. So over the next 30 days, I'll be training my calves every single day. And the reason this is so effective is because increasing your frequency and your intensity with calf training is going to be the secret. So let's get into it. So today we're sampling some new superhuman pump flavors. This is our max focus, maximum pump formula. We got grape bubblegum, aka grapezilla, blackberry lemonade, watermelon lemonade, watermelon cucumber, and straight up cherry, we call it cherry popper. So comment down below which flavor sounds the best. All right, so let's get the day one calf measurement. The last time I did this experiment, my calves grew well over an inch in a pretty short period of time. So we're gonna see where we are at now and see if the internet is right. Are my calves actually small? So look at that. We are right at 16 inch calves, so let the work begin. The first calf exercise I'll be doing frequently for the next 30 days is a barbell standing calf raise. Now, a huge calf training mistake that so many people make is they get no stretch of the calf on the way down. So you wanna make sure you get a full stretch on the way down, and that's why our toes are gonna be on a weight plate, and you're gonna hold that stretch for one second, one painful second. You're gonna come back up, you're gonna squeeze those calves on the way up. Now, we're gonna do a combination here of a static hold on our tippy toes, and then doing 15 to 20 reps immediately after. So remember, that's all about frequency and intensity. We're not doing high volume calf workouts for training our calves almost every day. It's gonna be short, it's gonna be efficient, so we're gonna go three to four total sets of this, and then stay tuned for a very important superset. So a great alternative to the standing barbell calf raise is of course you can do it on a Smith machine as well. But if your gym has one of these, these are great to use for the standing calf raise. I mean, you can use plates. Obviously there's gonna be plates at every gym, but the main thing is you wanna get that full stretch, really get that squeeze of the calf to the top. So this next tip is the most important and it is from John Meadows, rest in peace to the mountain dog, one of my favorite YouTubers of all time. And his tip is genius. Now think about this. If you're trying to get bigger arms, you wanna hit both biceps and triceps. If you're trying to get bigger legs, you wanna hit both quads and hamstrings. Now tibia is the muscle that lies on the other side of your calf the front of the leg. This is such an important muscle group to hit. So a really easy thing is just do the superset on any of the standing calf raise moves, whether if it's the barbell standing calf raise or the body weight one, you can just switch around on a step and do these tibia raises. Now you wanna go very high rep. You wanna hit near failure on the tibia raise and this one will burn like a motherfucker. Really the only other option you're gonna have for a standing calf raise is the good old donkey calf raise. Now just remember, the same rules apply. You got to get that full stretch. Got to really squeeze up. Don't get too caught up in, you know, pointing the toes in, pointing the toes out. Just focus on making sure that your knees are locked and you want to put all that pressure on your calves. So remember, once again, your calves are such a stubborn muscle group. You're walking around in your calves every single day. You can't treat your calves like every single other muscle group. So of course, I'm taking all these sets as close to failure as possible. Ideally, you want to hit failure. If you're only doing three to four sets in a single workout for calves, you want to go at least until failure. And don't be afraid to go some 35 to 50 rep sets in there too. All right guys, so you need a body weight option if you're gonna train your calves almost every day. So this is what I did in quarantine when gym shut down. I was actually able to grow my calves over an inch in 30 days doing 100 to 200 reps of this every single day. Now, I used to just literally go outside and there'd be steps and I'd use the steps where I can get that nice stretch of the calf muscle. I'm obviously in a gym today, so I'm gonna show you guys 
a similar exercise, but the key with this, and you're gonna find out real quick, even doing bodyweight calf training can blow up your calves because you wanna do this exercise until failure. So I started doing this in quarantine. I could do 35, 40 reps until failure. I was up to 60 to 70 reps until failure towards day 30. And the point is, you're gonna have excruciating pain in your calves doing this exercise, and that is how you know you're doing it right. The real reason I'm doing this experiment is I am sick of the internet hating on my calves. It's funny because I'll make a video and you can't see my quads at all. So my quads are pretty solid. I have a really good back squat. I have a high vertical leap, 40 yard dash. All the athletic attributes from not skipping leg day. But the internet gets one little sneak of your calves and they assume you skip leg day. So if you have legging calves, try this with me for the next 30 days and let's see how much progress that we can make. And you don't need to do this every day. I just like doing things every day, especially when it's calf training because it forms a habit, it makes it fun, it's a great challenge. So if you guys want to try this, you know, feel free to do it four to five times a week all the way up to seven days a week. But my main strategy besides inside my workout, when I'm increasing my intensity and my frequency of calf training is gonna be the number of sets I do per workout. So week number one, I'm gonna go two total sets seven days a week. So that's gonna be 14 total working sets. Week number two, I'm gonna go three total sets of calf raises, the full superset, the calf raises, and the tibia raise. So that's gonna be 21 total sets over the course of the week. Now week number three, going up to four sets for 28 total sets. And then week number four, 35. So of course what we're doing is we're increasing the volume along with the frequency and intensity. All right, so here is my day number two calf workout. Did it outside, was my rest day. So I'm literally holding a garbage can and I'm doing it on a curb right outside my house. So no excuses anymore to skip calf day because you can do this workout literally anywhere. Just find a curb outside. You're gonna hold something to keep your body obviously stable. So you're not trying to balance the whole time. You can get a good squeeze of the calves. And the key with this one, once again, you wanna get that nice full stretch. You wanna squeeze up at the top and you will know you did this right if you have an incredible calf pump after just one set. So I only did two sets until failure. It took me five minutes. And if you can invest five minutes into your daily routine for the next 30 days, I guarantee you, you're gonna make all kinds of calf gains regardless of how bad you think your calf genetics are. So try it out. If you don't even wanna go in the weight room at all for any of your calf workouts, you could essentially do this body weight routine every single day and then just make sure to superset it with some tibia raises. So post-workout and let me introduce you to my new car. I still haven't officially named it yet. So this is one of my dream cars. Finally made the purchase. Comment down below what you think I should name it. And you know what? If you're not taking protein powder, you're making your life really difficult when it comes to building muscle or burning fat because it's just a pain in the ass to eat 200 grams of chicken, eggs, you know, whatever your diet consists of. If you missed my grocery store video, by the way, I'm gonna throw it down here, throw it down in the description below. But this stuff right here tastes amazing. It's 100% whey protein isolate. And if you guys actually wanna get a free sample tub of superhuman protein, for a very limited time, if you get superhuman pre-workout, you get a free tub. I'll throw my code on so you guys can make some huge savings. So this is my pre-workout and post-workout stack. Has never let me down. So if you guys wanna grab this for some huge savings and for a limited time, get a free superhuman protein sample tub. I'll throw that link down below. If you wanna stay right here on YouTube and keep on making gains, I'm going to throw my grocery store vlog video over here where I cover the best foods to build muscle fast. If you guys are not eating the right food, all these workout tips are gonna completely go out the window. So head over here next and I'll see you guys on the next video. No games. You ain't no weights. <laughs>